In our last video, we learned about how the situational awareness widget works to understand impact. In this video, I'd like to show you some of the more advanced capabilities. In our Web App Builder configuration, this is where the application is built and changed based on the demands of the incident or our emergency managers. I can configure this exact tool. I can add and remove different types of layers from my analysis and configure how they look. So I may just want a summary, which gives me a total count, or perhaps I want to see group counts. I want to see incidents by their type. Another additional capability of the Situational Awareness widget that's new is the ability to save my results into some layers, enable a snapshot, which will create a quick web map based on the location of interest, and even export my data as a CSV or a report. These are all new capabilities, and I myself are still exploring how they can be used. So if we go back to our live app, which is configured behind the scenes, but our emergency managers just see new capability. This time when they run the tool, they can see that I can create a report, save the layers, create a snapshot, or even download a CSV. To print a report, I click on print, give it a quick title, presumably you would timestamp it here, and this will generate a PDF report. Now you want to be careful about the layers you put in here, such as the demographic information, because it will print out the information for each mesh, mesh block in your area of interest. This can be controlled in how you set up the Situational Awareness widget. But we can also see information like what cell phone towers in, are in the area and who the carriers are, how many welfare assessments have been done or wide area assessments have been done, and a short summary of each of those. So as you can see, this widget can be configured to answer any of the questions you'd like and even print out a quick PDF report as needed. One of the other capabilities we often hear is I just want to be able to download a spreadsheet of that data, such as some schools that might be impacted, just to make some quick phone calls uh, to each of those schools to make sure they've been notified of an incident. And then finally, my favorite new capability is the ability to create a snapshot. And what this does will create a web map at this exact time of all of the elements that have been captured by my analysis. I can decide how it's shared and click OK. So there's some great new capabilities of the Situational Awareness widget that I think will um, will help emergency managers do some different things like create situation reports and quickly call up uh, facilities that need to be notified of an incident. We'll find out more about some of the other tools within the Situation Awareness Viewer in some later videos.